Sometime later, I was given a fever. In my day, we have two types of fevers. We have a small fever and a great fever. I was given a great fever, and I knew I was going to die. And I started to question God. I was asking God, why are you taking me now before I see the glory you have in store for our son? Why would you take me now? Are you disappointed with me because I lost him in the temple? Why would you take me now? But after I died, God let me see what they did to my son. He let me see how they dragged him through the, the street. They whipped him. They scourged him. They threw him down. They put nails into his hands. And I'm looking at those hands and I'm thinking, those are the hands I kissed. And he let me watch as they raised him up on a cross and I was there watching until he was dead. And then I knew why he took me. Because if I was still on the earth, I would have done everything I could to prevent it. I could not have stood there and let them do this to my son. It's my little boy. That was my little boy. We don't always know God's ways. When he says it's time to take us, we should just say God knows. And God knew it was the right time to take me. Many times when I was there laying dying, Mary and Jesus were there. And Jesus, these many times would get into bed with me and I remember one time he was holding me and he said I want you to know something Papa he said you are my father and then he said I have something for you and he pulled this and he gave this to me this is not the one I made for him. He lost that years ago. This is one he made for me. He said, Papa, as you made me a gift when I came into this world, I made this for you as you enter into the next. 